back to another video by showing you how to add like um a shop GUI, donation GUI, whatever, uh into your to that game. So I'll be using a tutorial but I'll make it shorter and uh, easy studio like uh yeah. So it's from it's swappy fish. Yeah. Okay, let's let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, you have to go to start a GUI, insert a frame. Start a GUI frame. Okay. Start. Guys, technical issues. Wait. Uh, I'm supposed to put a screen GUI. Okay. Um, delete the frame. Insert a screen GUI. Inside the screen GUI, insert a frame. Then a frame. Okay, so you'll notice the frame like that. So all you have to do is set um, go down, set the size to this number. Okay, so set the size to two, comma two hundred, comma. The five comma two hundred, and if you're noticing, and if you're wondering why it's invisible, it's because you have to go up and set the transparency to one. Okay, and then, and then you have to name frame to main frame with a capital M. And it's That's it even more. We want to go back on our shop frame and click on the plus button again. Expand it to the whole entire screen. Then we want to set the background transparency to one to make it see. Now that you've made the main frame, we want to go and click the plus button next to the main frame and you want to insert a text button. This is going be the button that the player clicks on to clip. Uh, okay, guys. So after you've done that, click on mainframe, insert a text button. Okay, here's the button, like over here. So basically, you have to just stop. Also, oh, some text button here. So basically, you have to just uh, um like if you want to position it and stuff, you can go like up here. Um, custom you can you can um set the stuff like uh, set the buttons to whatever you want to um because it's already made for you. And here's a text. Uh, just customize it around it and. Uh, yeah, I'll come back to you. Okay, I came back after customizing um my shop button, and I'll give you guys a moment to do that too. Okay, guys, it's took me a long time, but <clears throat> if you wanna make it like how I did it, basically, um, okay, so you have to go to screen GUI, insert another frame, and then scroll down. If you put if you want to make like mine, position position it to zero point three comma one, zero point one comma one hundred, size zero point two comma two hundred, zero point two comma two hundred. Okay, if you want to make mine, and if you just want to customize it, like for example, I'm just gonna customize mine like, I don't know, like do it like a little bit blue. Yeah. That's good. Oh yeah, guys. You have make sure you name it shop frame, whatever frame you. Um, if you're doing like a donation frame, you can type in donation frame. Uh, yeah. Okay, so guys, uh, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I press shop frame. Inside shop frame, the shop frame is like this frame in the middle. In shop frame, you add a text button, image button whatever you want and then 
can name it whatever you want to customize it. So I just done so I just made mine sixteen hour robux and I just made um like an oceany type color cyan type color and uh, yeah and so guys um inside that text button um this text button you enter a local script and just click out of it i'll show the script later in in the description i'm really dumb um this button yeah delete the local script in this button go to mainframe and then insert the local script for this button the one i'm clicking like the shop i want okay guys so first script the first script will be named script one in the description and whatever you whatever you named uh, the shop for, and whatever you named this part you have to put it you have to put it here wait um yeah you have to put it <clears throat> you have to put it here like you have to put it there probably here um and and there <laughs> okay guys once you once you've um inserted the local script you have to go to <clears throat> shop frame scroll down well where it says visible over here on ticket what so when you just press play oh i will not show up and um yeah so to make the part to make the script for the um uh the button this one um it will be named script 2 in the description and uh, i'll show you everything okay guys so i just um opened the the shop frame so i can make so it can <coughs> be easier <coughs> so basically you have to get the id of the path you want and the second script will be in the description so basically you have to go to shop frame text button add a local script and uh, and then type in script in the description okay guys once you've done that Make sure you set up your game pass ID. So I'm just gonna set it to a random game pass ID. I don't even own. Okay, I set it, and now it should work. So let me just go to the shop frame. Let me just okay uncheck that. Just pay it. Press shop. Yeah, we'll book. Guys, I'm gonna see, I'll be right back. I am really dumb. <clears throat> I did own that pass. I mean, it was in my inventory, but it should work for you, guys. And this is an 8 minute tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. And this is the most requested video. I hope you guys like and subscribe. And see ya.